how are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm good, thanks. Okay, let's start and look at your homework. Okay, here is your homework. Okay. So let's go through this together. Hello, this year video introduce my group. Hello, I like match and play to football. I have joined a football group. Group have 15 people and we often a match begin 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. every Tuesday at stadium. We want in, we want trans health and have a more friend when join group. Uh, we play by uh, for match seven, match seven. So we will uh, separate into two team and uh, our friendly match with other group. We don't play tennis, don't play badminton, and don't go swimming. After mess, we go to eat and drink beer uh, together in the bar. But here we have a talk, work, and la live each uh, other. Sometimes we go to camping uh, or travel, short travel together with family or member group, uh, thereby we will uh, closeness and uh, so, uh, solidarity more than we still look the new member have the same hobby and uh, passion with football. If you have a hobby with uh, football and would you would like have uh, more than friend as us, you can join with us. Uh, we always welcome to you. Thank you. Okay, so this was <clears throat> not bad, you tried, <clears throat> but there was quite a few um, errors in your, your video. Okay, so let me just quickly get our lesson and then I will help you. Okay. Uh, I just want to share... Okay. Okay. Yeah, we started this one. So what I want to do is I just want to go through a few words with you first. Okay. So you said this is the introduction. Okay. So introduction. That's one word you didn't pronounce properly. So you didn't say it properly. Pronounce. Okay. Um, and another thing you need to remember is when you say, um, okay, in your in your video, you said we play a stadium. You need to remember to use your preposition. So the words the, the words at. So you don't say we go drink bar. You have to say we go drink at the bar. Okay. So you need to try and remember to add your prepositions 
your ats, your thes. Um, other than that, um, you said we love each other. Are you trying to say we love each other? Your group is like a family and you all love each other. What were you trying to, to say just before the bar and the camping? We Okay. Okay. So I need to explain properly. Um, camping doesn't get a two. So we can go camping. Because camping has the ing, we don't use the we don't use the word the. So you can say we are going to camp. So to will be the preposition in the sentence. Where at and the is the preposition in the sentence. It becomes easier when you read a lot. <clears throat> so what I want you to try and do is find an easy English book online. Something simple to read. And the more you read, even if you read three or four pages a day, the more you read, the better you will become at making sentences. Do you understand? Okay. So I'm going to try and find a few activities for you for our next lesson that works with um, at the to and see if we can help you with that. Okay, so here we answered that. We answered that one. Okay. Um, okay, so we're on this one now. Okay. What do you think his job is? Is the uh, pilot. Pilot, good. What do you think his job is? Police. Police officer, good. And her job? Chef. Yes, she is a chef. And his yeah. job? Doctor. Good. Okay. When I show you pictures like this, I want you to try and make sentences. Okay. So if I say, what is this? I want you to tell me, he looks like a pilot. Which means you're not sure because they haven't given you the answer yet. But to you, it looks like a pilot. <clears throat> So that way we can try and build your sentences. Okay. So what do you think is happening in this picture? What do you think this lady is? She looks like a teacher. teacher. Yeah, she looks like a teacher. Good job. And where is she? Where is she standing? She looks like a uh, Okay, she is standing in a classroom. Okay, but good, you got teacher correct. Now, what is her job? What do you think she does? Uh, she looks like a uh, hair. hair. Okay, we call it a hairdresser. Okay, so think about in the mornings when you get yourself dressed. This lady's job is to dress your hair, make your hair look nice. Okay. 
Okay, now we're going to read the clues and fill in the missing letters. Okay, this person works at, in a school. So what letters do we have to fill in there? E Good. Okay. This person flies planes. Pilot. Good. You work in a restaurant with this job. Yes. Good job. Visit this person when you are sick. Doctor. Good. This person grows food such as corn. Okay, what is the name of the person who grows fruit and vegetables? Sometimes they've got cows and sheep. Oh, okay. Say that again. Tumble. Good. Okay, find this person to go to some place. That's the driver. Yes, well done. Okay. Okay, we're going to listen and then um, I need you to actually write the names of the job. Okay. Unit 2, recording 6. A. Order for table 6, ready. B. Okay, what was A? Uh, I want to uh, listen with it. Okay, we can listen again. Unit 2, recording 6. A. Order for table 6, ready. B. Okay, so order for table 6, ready. What job do you think that is? I think it's a uh, doctor. Okay, no. When you go to a restaurant, you give the waiter your order. So who makes your food at a restaurant? The chef. The chef, yes, good. <clears throat> so it'll be chef. Okay. Let's listen to the next one. B. Stop. Stand still. Name? Okay. You heard loud noises and someone saying, stop, stand still. What's your name? Which job is that? Police office. Okay. Police of 
professor. Okay. C. Okay, that's finished. What do you think? D. Okay, that one is a bit difficult, but in the beginning, you heard scissors. They were cutting something. What job do you think that is? Yeah, Good. Hairdresser. Let me just listen. Okay, say ah. Uh... Ah. Uh... Okay, what do you think that was? Okay. E. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. F. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. So what is that? Teacher, good. Okay, and then if. That'll be seven ninety nine. Okay, what is that? Okay, that one has got two names depending on which country you come from. It is either a check out assistant or it is usually a teller. So that is the person that's in the grocery store and they check out all your food and they tell you how much you need to pay them. Okay, so let's see. Okay, they called it a shop assistant. Okay. okay. So that one is a bit difficult because um, depending where you go in the world, that word changes. Some people call it a teller. Some people call it a checkout assistant. Some people call it a shop assistant. Okay. So how many other jobs do you know in English? Okay. Okay. I know uh, teacher, doctor. Okay. okay, you know what you are, and that's a salesman. Okay. What about the people that put out fires? What are they called? Uh, I won't, I won't okay. Okay, we call it a firefighter. But good, you were close. Um, what do you call somebody that builds bridges? and builds things. <clears throat> Bull. Okay, a builder. It can either be a builder or builder. it can be a construction Constru worker. Okay, construction means to build something. So they'll call them a construction worker. Then you have somebody who plans the building. Okay, 
So somebody who tells you what will work and what won't work. That is the engineer. <clears throat> engineer, yes. And what do you call a person who sells houses? Estate agent. Okay, and then one more. <clears throat> Who helps the doctor in a hospital? A proctor. Say that again. A proctor. Okay, we call it a nurse. <laughs> Yes, so the doctor is the one that gives you or tells you what medication you have to take and what to do. But if you are in hospital, the nurses will come to you and give you your medicine. They will um, take your blood and they will do simple things to help the doctor. Okay. Listening. Okay, so look at the photos below. What's one good thing and one bad thing about each job? Okay, so Gagan, what do you think he is? okay he looks like an explorer he looks like somebody that likes to explore new places and maybe he um has a television show where he makes money to show people new places okay so Gagan. Okay, so what is two good things about his job? What do you think is nice about being an explorer or a nature photographer or something to do with nature and being outside and new places. Okay, so that, oh, it keeps healthy. healthy. Okay. Uh it keeps healthy. Good. And what is another good thing about his job? Okay, I'm going to give you a word. The word is explore. He gets to explore new places. So he gets to travel. He gets to see the world. He gets to explore. Yes. Okay. Now... What do you think is 
two bad things about his job. Danger. Danger, good. It's dangerous. Okay, and number two. What happens to your family if you travel a lot? With a pound. Say that again. With a pound. Okay, I can't With hear a... you. Oh, weather. Okay, the weather can be bad. Okay. Good. Now let's look at Emma. What do you think Emma is? Uh, Emma is a Okay, she's a pilot. So what are two good things about being a pilot? See you go to many places. Okay, travel to many places, good. Okay, and one other good thing. Okay, what is about? Say that see, again. See everything from above. Okay, good. She gets to see things from above. I like that word. Well done. Above is a very good word. Um. Okay, can you tell me two bad things about her job? Dangerous. Yes, it is dangerous. Okay, and what about it can sometimes be scary? Okay, we'll go, it can be scary. So maybe the weather is bad and she's flying and she can't see and she gets a bit scared. Okay, now we are going to look at this man over here. His name is Gonzalez. Okay, so two good things about his job. Um... I don't know what he does exactly, but he looks like somebody that will repair <laughs> repair something that's very high up. Because this here looks like a bridge. Okay, let me show you something quickly. Um, okay, do you see behind me? You see the bridge? Okay, 
you see like right at the top over there and all the way down there. Okay. He looks like somebody that will climb up there and fix any problems that happen on the bridge. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So what do you think is two good things about his job? Make uh, beauty everything. Makes everything beautiful. Okay. Makes everything beautiful. Okay. And one more. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's a it's a nice experience. When, uh, on the high. Oh, it's nice to be up high. Okay. <laughs> okay, and you forgot one. I'm going to add one. He keeps things safe for other people. See, because if he's fixing bridges like the one behind me, if he doesn't fix it, then the bridge is not safe. Then people can't use it. Okay. So now, what are two bad things about his job? Is dangerous. Yes, it's dangerous. Okay, and what else? Health effect. Say that again. Health, health effect. Okay, can you try and write <laughs> it so that I can see what you're trying to say? Not, not good for, not good for health. Oh, okay, unhealthy, good. Yes, okay. If you are doing a scary job, it can sometimes make your heart sick, weak. Are you still there? <laughs> <laughs> 